not a smart man. And after reading all the things that I've been reading about the Eagles today, I am even dumber than I was this morning. That's right. It is getting harder and harder to calculate the calculations of the cornbread because I can't do math and I can't remember numbers. I'm getting really dumb. And I'm already dumb. But that's just the way it is. Well, good evening, good people, and happy Taco Tuesday. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I built, I'm here at the Red Brick House, and I built the studio here thinking that we were going to be able to use this for more football. For more football, I thought we were going to be able to really, really use it for this year. And unfortunately, the Dallas Cowboys let me down. I have been taking bullets and arrows and being tarred and feathered, trying to defend the Dallas Cowboys and defend the undefensible and trying to figure out a way to actually make the Cowboys win. Instead of just bitching and moaning about shit, I want to find solutions. And as bad as this has been, the only thing that's actually made things a little bit better is my counterpart in Philly 500 and the Eagles are basically going through the same shit that we are. And that makes it a little bit easier on us, Cowboy fans. And just, a, just a little bit. And listening to Philly 500 about their quarterback... It's kind of crazy right now. Now, see, I, I when I say stuff about the Eagles and everything else, Eagle fans will come through and say, worry about your own team. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a hater. So I'm going to give you the words, not my words, not my words, Philly 500's words. Philly 500 has been so bad that he's getting blocked by the traditional media because he's been calling them out to be liars when they actually turn out to be correct. So I want you to hear it from Philly 500. What's going on with Jalen Hurts? Apparently, Jalen's feelings are definitely hurt with the Eagles. Let's go to the tape. I think it's an absolutely great thing. Um, now, there's some really stupid things going on. Uh, did you guys see this pro football talk? And I hate, of course, you text me what I'm doing. I'm, 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 you know, I'm dumb. I can't talk. But did you see this thing on pro football talk where they're talking about? J Jalen Hurts may need a change of scenery and the Eagles could look to trade him. What the hell is wrong with these people? Why on earth are we ever going to trade Jalen Hurts at this point? This is some stupid stuff. Not to mention Jalen Hurts has a no trade clause. But why But why would you do it? Okay, The Eagles have just fired their offensive coordinator and defensive coordinator. They're doing this. Uh, well, Nick Sirianni kind of left some, He's trying to save his ass right some now. people under the bus. But... He's trying to keep his job, and they're also going to try to get things fixed for Jalen Hurts. Now, we're going to talk about some offensive coordinators in a minute, but uh, i, I got to talk a little bit more about Jalen Hurts first because that PFT, talking about Jalen Hurts needing a change of scenery, it comes after a lot of stuff is coming out about Jalen Hurts. A lot of sources are coming out with Jalen Hurts. Now, uh, he, he, here's basically what the reports have been saying, right? Report sources close to and around the team say Jalen Hurts should have been a better leader this season and at times was described as detached, stoic, isolated, and unapproachable, says at J. Santa Coluido. I can never pronounce his name. That's probably why he's got me blocked. Um, a source <laughs> of the blocked. Eagles described Jalen Hurts as a, quote, good dude who sometimes doesn't realize when he's acting like a prima donna. Uh, multiple sources close to and in, inside the Eagles confirmed this. This is now multiple different reports coming out about Jalen Hurts' leadership. Not my words. So, uh, the San Lido, I can't pronounce his name. And he does have me blocked. He really does. And and probably I deserve it. I'll be honest with you. I, I went, when he came out, because he came, he's the same guy that put out the Carson Wentz report mm -hmm. uh, a few years ago. I, I went off. I went off about it. I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. And he turned out to be right about it. So I, I give the guy credit because he was right about the Carson Wentz thing. Uh, you know, I, I was wrong. And, and I probably I probably was kind of harsh on him. It's never personal. But I, the really, business you know, I didn't believe it about Carson Wentz. So now he's got a report about Jalen Hurts. And, and here are my thoughts on, on this whole report, right? 
Uh, I think if you look at Jalen Hurts, if we're, if we're going to keep this real, keep this 100, you look keep at Jalen Hurts on the sideline, you look how many times he's sitting by himself when the camera shows or he's shaking his head sitting there by himself. Um, he, does look, he does look isolated, at least from the camera uh, and a lot of things that we see. It, it's very true. But Jalen Hurts on, you know, just his personality is a quiet guy. He's a quiet guy. So I think that when you lose and when things don't go right, these things tend to get over-exaggerated. Uh, I feel like most likely, you know, all the things they're saying about Jalen Hurts right now is probably probably somewhat, there's probably some truth to, to what they're saying. He probably did seem detached to certain players or or isolated, you know. I know there was talk about, you know, AJ Brown being the um, kind of like the alpha male in the friendship, the guy who's loud, boisterous, and Jalen Hurts is more quiet, more subdued. Um, and and there's probably some truth to it. There's some players saying that he's unapproachable, apparently. Mm -hmm. um, but I don't think this is as bad as the Wentz situation. I, I don't think this is a situation where uh, Jalen Hurts is a bad guy. It even says it that, that he's that nobody everybody thinks he's a good dude, he's a good guy. It's not like Carson Wentz where he literally had the locker room split and some guys just didn't like him and it was a personality thing that couldn't change. Uh, this to me just seems like when you lose, these are the things that people harp on and there's probably things that the Eagles want Jalen Hurts to do uh, to become a better leader. You, people got to remember, he's still young. He's still very young. He's still learning. And, uh, you know, when you go to the Super Bowl, then you get a big contract, and then you have all the endorsement deals, and then you're doing all this stuff, you kind of, you know, it's easy to get distracted by all those things. Mm -hmm. I think Jalen Hurts, uh, I think he'll be fine. I'm not really worried about this going, uh, going on in the future in terms of, Will this be a problem? Jalen Hurts is a winner. Jalen Hurts wants to win. He's going to do everything he can. And if there are things he has to work on, like everybody else, in terms of being a leader, uh, I'm sure he'll do that. But what's important to me, and more than anything, is to get good people around Jalen Hurts, good coaches oh. around him. Um, you know, there are reports about, you know, Brian Johnson that, that, that Hurts did not like the things that that he was coaching and you could even see it you remember the once the one little clip where they show hurts like look away and roll his eyes uh there was obviously something there Jalen hurts d does he probably is he probably quiet at times yeah he probably is because you could tell the way he's quiet in a press conference but do i think that Jalen hurts is a bad leader or unlikable or anything like that do i think this is going to be a problem going forward no i think hurts will continue to grow as a leader and as a franchise quarterback and he will be fine but now because this is out you know you're getting stupid things like pft talking about trading Jalen hurts and trade and things like trade that. hurts like, trade hurts none of this is is at that <laughs> level okay the trade hurts. problem on and let me tell you Jalen hurts is the least of of our problems we have way bigger problems way bigger issues than Jalen Hurts, okay? Now, if you go into next year and it's some more of the same type things with him and you have different coaches and it's still happening, then I understand you may have an issue, but I don't think that's going to be... <sighs> you know, there's an old saying that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. And I have to say that Philly 500 is sounding like he's one of my kids. Oh my God. Here and so before we start this video, I gotta get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy. Okay, that's out of the way. Ow! Yes, son. Love you. I'm Mark Holmes, and well. At least the Eagles, at least the Eagles are having a hard time too. Peace.